You know, not every horror movie has the traditional jump scares, but rather something even more unsettling. Are, do you like scary movies? No. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there with I'm you I'm a too. wuss when it comes to that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take you over to Colin's Corner. Hey, good morning. Well, this morning, the cult classic archivists over at Severin Films are upgrading four wackadoodle cult titles to 4K, starting with Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. Uh, Susan Tyrell, in full Looney Tunes mode, plays an overprotective aunt of an orphaned high school student who loves him a bit too much, if you know what I mean. And the poor kid ends up implicated in a murder and then hounded by an overzealous police detective. Why would I ever want to lie to you? The boy's parents were killed yesterday outside Flagstaff when their car crashed into a logging truck on Interstate 89. Now I talked to a few of the locals. Up next is the cuckoo bird horror classic, Kathy's Curse about an eight-year-old girl who's possessed by the spirit of her aunt who died in a car accident as a child. Not even the family dog is safe as the psycho kid uses her telekinetic powers to get revenge on her family one by one. This movie was panned by just about everyone who originally saw it, but it became a darling of the social media era after some reviewers pointed out just how howlingly awful it is. It might be one of the best worst movies ever made. Kathy is sugar and spice and everything nice. She just likes to keep her company entertained. Following that up is The Devil's Honey from Italian madman Lucio Fulci, the guy who brought us Zombie and the Beyond and other Grindhouse Gore classics. But here he trades the gore for flesh and depravity with the story of a woman who kidnaps the doctor that she holds responsible for her boyfriend's death and then subjects him to sexual torture. You will never be able to look at a saxophone the same way again after you've seen The Devil's Honey. And finally, we've got the Italian Jaws ripoff, The Great Alligator. Former Bond girl Barbara Bach, who you may remember from The Spy Who Loved Me, is one of a group of tourists on a tropical island who anger an African god, who then takes the form of a giant alligator and lays waste to the vacationers at a newly built resort. In order to win one of these movies, all you got to do is head on over to our website, that's mystateline.com, and register on that contest page. 849 here.